Hello and welcome back to Rollercoaster Psycho 3. One of the main things that I wanted to get done in this episode, uh, which I should have done a very, very long time ago, but I still didn't because I didn't download it, is to use new textures. As you may be able to see, uh, as you probably am seeing, is that I've got some different textures in the game, which are from DJF and Old Spice, I think that's them. And um, it's very similar to what Old Spice has released about a year ago, maybe it's even two years ago, honestly. Uh, where he actually changed some of the textures in-game. However, contrary to that earlier different set of textures, uh, you don't have to reload a certain mod program every time that you get these textures. You just download these textures and you replace the in-game texture files with these and you get these shiny new textures. I myself am actually not too sure whether I like these textures more than the in-game ones. Uh, one of the main issues that I have with them is that the grass is very dark, especially the grass that you get as a sort of template standard grass that you start off with in your park, so I like to just recolor everything to a lighter shade of grass, but that said, you can kind of just find your way around things and especially when it comes to these more rocky textures or the path textures, they are much better than what's in-game. And especially the uh, brick paving sort of texture turned out to be very useful for the English areas as well, some other areas in the park. And I'm really happy with it overall. And it didn't even take too much time to redo all the textures, but yeah, I did have to kind of go over the park again and replace all the textures with these new ones because they did sort of swap some textures around. I think there are less grass textures in this pack as there are in the original game. Uh, so sometimes if you move over to these new textures, your fields of grass suddenly turn into fields of rocky bullshit and uh, you kind of just have to repaint some things, but it's really not that bad overall. The other things that I wanted to do in this episode was get some more detail onto this log flume because it was still looking very boring. One of the main issues that I have with this one is that Although I do like the theme overall, and uh, it, it does look pretty good, I had to keep it all at one level, like there is the water level and I couldn't really go higher or lower than that, uh, but in the end it kind of resulted in a very big lake, uh, which sort of makes the area look very empty and boring, so really the only remedy I figured I would have against that is just fill the lake with details and pretty things to look at, until it doesn't look so boring and empty anymore. And that's one thing that I wanted to do. And uh, I also kind of wanted to finish the palace around the English area, which I'll get to later. And uh, actually, whoa, <laughs> that was perfect timing. I, I got to right now. And uh, there's also some other stuff, like uh, making this area look a little bit less gray. I know that I've commented way too many times that sort of my excuse for keeping this area so gray, brownish and dull looking and almost depressing is that it is England in the end, so it probably shouldn't be too big of an issue. But then again, I can't get away with this area looking this depressing. Uh, it's, it is a theme park after all, so uh, one of my main remedies to sort of make this area look less depressing is add some foliage. Not just little trees, but also little flowers and things like that. Maybe I'll get to uh, signs and banners later on, I'm still not too sure about that. But uh, the first thing that I wanted to do was finish this palace. I don't even know why I didn't do that earlier, because you can kind of see me struggling here. These different little borders and cornices are made up with different custom scenery sets, but I always tend to forget what custom scenery sets I use for certain pieces. So it's always a, a bit of a puzzle to find those sets again through all of the hundreds of sets that I have, and figure out exactly where I need to use which pieces. So uh, my word of advice is basically, if you're working on a building and you might not finish it in time, just do it in one session. Because if you don't and you, the, next section, the next session is in a very long time after your first session, you tend to forget what sort of pieces you've used, or at least I do. It also kind of depends on what sort of thing you're building. Obviously this palace is something that I haven't really done before too much, so something that I had to get used to of what sort of pieces I'm using. Uh, whereas if you're using a uh, alpine theme or something like that, it's just spam Shy Guys Alpine Village and go from there. <laughs> so in that, it kind of depends, but usually I would say try to finish your buildings in one session. It's, it usually results in the best things. Now in this case, it doesn't really matter too much since it's just a simple wing of the building, really. But still, it uh, really helps to finish things in one 
in one go. Um, it's it's almost it's it's also kind of more fun. I usually feel like if I still have to finish a building, it's it's more like a chore. I need to finish this building still. Whereas if I uh, have a nice go at building a building and making it look like I want to, um, it, it it always it, it always is more of a nice sitting to me really. And then there's a bit of foliage because I didn't know what to help other it, like I didn't even know what else to do at this point. I just figured the next thing that I have to do, or at least the next two things that I have to do is after this finish up the sort of transition area to the. I think it's going to be the German area that will be next to this, I am pretty damn sure. Uh, which I am not too sure how I'm going to do it, whether I want to cover it with buildings all the way or just have a couple of small buildings around it or more foliage. So I still kind of want to figure that out and I don't want to start building it yet until I figure out what I uh, want to do with it. And uh, the other thing is the dark ride, but I am really not, <laughs> I am not prepared for that yet. So that's something I'm going to want to do later on as well. Uh, but other than that, I just kind of wandered around the park, adding little details here and there, some uh, subtle changes to... I wanted to, I wanted to have some more vertical action in this building, especially uh, since when you look at real Victorian buildings, especially the uh, palace... Um, what, what is it called, actually? The uh, the building with <laughs> which has the long jean attached to it. I, I, I feel so very awkward. For, for forgetting the name of that thing. Uh, in any case, the um, it, it's where the Ministry of England is, that building in London, like the most famous building in the world almost. Anyway, that type of building, usually it has lots of vertical stuff going on with all sorts of pillars and towers, and this building didn't really have it enough yet, so I figured I could add more of those little small details here and there, and also skim through some sets to find some dormers, which turned out to be an almost impossible sort of thing to do, so in the end, I just had to go with some really small, boring looking dormers that you can barely see. It's better than nothing, I suppose, but dormers is something that I always have trouble with finding, especially since so many of the custom scenery sets that you do have, uh, usually you have a lot of leeway in what you, you know, you make with walls and roofs, since you can combine the walls of one set with the roofs of another set and get the details of another set into that. Uh, but when it comes to dormers, they're usually the complete package, the, uh, the wall, the window, and the roof all together, and that kind of makes it really hard to find the right dormers in all the custom scenery sets that you have if the rest of the building is one big mashup of different sets to create its own unique atmosphere. Uh, and, and in any case, I always have a lot of trouble finding the right dormers, and in the end just go with the mediocre ones that kind of do the job at least, but aren't really 100% what I was trying to go for. And over here I figured, you know, this is, I'm not gonna build the dark ride in this park since the park definitely can't take it, but I at least should have some sort of little thing over here that could look like it's the entrance of the queue to this dark ride, uh, which is what that little red carpet over there should be. I actually tried to make it a carpet using this carpet set, but it didn't quite cover the path cover pieces that I had over there, so that kind of sucked. But uh, it's supposed to look like a red carpet, I think it still kind of makes it look like it's actually a red carpet for whatever reason, and it just looks cool. And uh, that should be the cue to the dark ride, which should be finished in a different sandbox, eventually. I'm also very much afraid that the dark ride is going to take very long, so I'm actually going to keep it short. It, I'm, I don't even aspire to make it look anything like Mystic Machine or uh, Imagineer John stuff, which if you're into dark rides and you haven't seen Mystic Machine or anything that Imagineer John has made, you need to check that stuff out because it's really good, uh, but I don't even think I can live up to that and I don't even have the time to live up to that for one attraction in an entire park. So this dark ride will just be pretty small and simple, just kind of... Uh, I need to learn the ropes still anyway. Um, so it won't really be too much, but it's still quite a big hurdle for me to step over in this Let's Play park, and it'll probably take quite some episodes to do. I'm actually also sort of wondering how it'll turn out, since it's something that I've never ever done, but it's also something that I've never ever made videos of, so I'm not quite sure how good a footage is going to be for the Let's Play, but seemingly some people are looking forward to it and think it would be cool, so I guess... Uh, I'll do that. 
And uh, the last thing that I sort of did over here was add water lilies, which is unrealistic as fuck. You don't have water lilies. Uh, you don't- like, the thing with water lilies is you either have them a little bit here and there clustered, or you have them everywhere, but here it's sort of in between and there's a log flume as well, which doesn't really happen, but I figured, bummer, it looks cool, so let's have it anyway. But yeah, that's it for this episode, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, in uh, which I have no idea what I'm gonna do. So anyway, see you then.